This local sports report is brought to you by Joe Romeo from Remax Twin City and the Romeo Circle. If you're in the market to buy or sell a home or just need advice from an experienced realtor, contact Joe and his team. Give them a call at 519-546-7979 or visit RomeoCircle.com. Thanks to the committee. Um, I actually did an interview the other day about being inducted into the Cambridge Sports Hall of Fame. And one thing I told the, the person I was talking to is that this, this is probably one of the, the special, most special things that I've ever had in my career. Um, making the Olympics was obviously a big deal, winning national championships, but having the recognition of my hometown has always just meant the world to me. Um, spent the first 18 years of my life there have uh, a lot of great mem memories um, and it's, it, it just means a lot to know that I have that much support back home. Um, and also congratulations to the other inductees. Um, we kind of, in my ho household, we have a running joke with me and my wife. She's been inducted into three sports hall, sports hall of Fames now. And so this makes my fourth and I finally moved to the, the most recognized, I guess, athlete in, in the house. So I have that over her, so it makes me feel pretty good. But um, <clears throat> it's it's an interesting year this year. We're we're dealing with the pandemic, and um, I most of you guys know I have two kids at home, um, and so I'm playing daddy duty today while I'm being inducted to, into the, the Cambridge Sports Hall of Fame. So at two o'clock, I have to actually get off here early to get my daughter from softball, go get my son um, from a birthday party this afternoon. My wife's a realtor, she's out working. So uh, for 13 years, it was life as a professional athlete and, and running all over the world. Now it's it's daddy has to do whatever daddy needs to do to, to get the kids where they need to go. So it's a, definitely a different part of my life, a different position and, and putting on a, a different hat. But um, I'm really thankful for what running gave me. Obviously it let me go on to the University of Michigan on a full athletic scholarship, meet my wife, um, ran professionally for 13 years, got to do what I love. Um, but the, the biggest thing I, I, I get asked a lot from people like what got me to the, the next level and, and what allowed my career to be so long. Um, everyone that's ever probably been inducted as, as an athlete can say that obviously talent in the sport is one thing that separates them, but the, the willingness to, to work that much harder than everyone else and, and just dig a little bit deeper is what usually separates um, the good from the great. Um, but the other thing is, is good coaching. Um, and I'll, I'll be the first to always say that I probably wouldn't be where I am today without the, the mentors and coaches I had along the road. Um, starting back in seventh and eighth grade with Pieker and Berg's Tri Tricic Track Club. So in my opinion, a coach isn't just coaching you in the sport. It's, it's someone that helps bring out the best in, in each athlete. And, and that's exactly what Pete did. And he allowed me to see the talent that I had. Um, I could have taken many routes in, in high school and, and, and luckily he saw the potential in me and kept kind of hounding me to, to, to really focus on it. And um, back when I was nine, 10, 11 years old, I wish I was in, in, in Tim Brent's shoes, because I, I thought I wanted to be, well, I, I did want to be a professional hockey player, but at five foot nine, I am now and 130 pounds. That was a uh, long lived back a long time ago, but um, I thought I was going to be a hockey player through the ninth grade and I was, I was okay. And my coach was like, Nate, you need to give that up and, and really focus on, on running. And so luckily Pete was kind of steered me in that right direction. And then I had a great coach in high school with uh, Bill Horwich. Um, and then on to the University of Michigan with Ron Warhurst. And then I finally ended my career with uh, one of the Canadian Olympic team coaches, Wynn uh, Gimitrowski. So I was just really lucky to have a great group of coaches that steered me in the right direction, always were um, super positive role models and, and allowed me to, to be the athlete I was. So um, a big part of this is, is thanking them um, and the other thing is, is thanking my, my family for the support and obviously my hometown. So when I, when I talk family, that includes everyone in Cambridge because it, it is one big, big family there. Um, 
it's funny because I always talk about my hometown and how good the athletes are that come through and how many professional hockey players we've had or professional or Olympians that have gone on to, to Olympics and other sports. And it's crazy to think that a town of, I don't know what Cambridge is now, 130,000. I think it was like 90,000 when I lived there. A town that I think is, is relatively small has had such success um, in sport. And, and it's amazing to see and, and be part of and, and now be inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame with so, so many amazing other athletes and people. So um, I'll end with that. I just want to say thank you again for allowing me to be part of this and be inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame with so many amazing other, other athletes. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.